What is up, guys? Bro, man, back here in Destiny. What a day. Personally, I am exhausted. And when I say exhausted, I mean I feel as if every bit of energy in my body has been drained from me using some sort of freak energy draining leech parasite and and just turned into pure liquefied hype. Um, today, uh, on the Bungie Court of Oryx reveal stream, they talked about a lot of stuff that is going to be just more just groundbreaking, wonderful things for Destiny now and in the future. We're going to hit on the three highlights like last time. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about an announcement they made at the end, um, which is pretty cool as well. Um, I want to try and include you guys in that announcement as well. So here is the deal, guys. Um, first thing that they really showed on the stream today was, of course, swords. Um, and we learned a lot about swords. They're great. They're a fantastic heavy weapon. They kick absolute piles of ass. But the unique thing that we learned today on Twitter is that swords do not drop. They are forged. Whatever that may mean, um, as far as the process, is still a mystery to all of us. But swords being uh, made uh, instead of just drops is actually something that's really cool. It, it, it takes this weapon that everyone wants and it says, hey, you want this weapon? Uh, you're going to have to work for it, but you can get it which is sort of a theme that's running through everything in Destiny right now. If you want this, you can work towards it and get it. You like PvP, you can get Nightfall tier rewards. You like PvE, you're going to get this stuff. Uh, you know, it's it's all about incentivizing every type of, of player in the game, giving them a motivation to play the way they want to play. So the swords are really, really cool. They showed off an exotic one today. It was great. We might do an in-depth review of that thing later, but man, it kicks ass, and it makes me think, boy, screw my Yallerhorn. I really don't ever want to see that guy, like, ever again, like, at all. I came up here to buy stuff from the speaker, but I don't know why, because I don't have moats on this character. I'm so, I'm so tired. Despite how Mountain Dew and Doritos Titan feels, I'm sure she's always amped, but I am exhausted. Look at that. Look at that lamp. Nice. Um, so, swords, number one. Number two. Number two. The Court of Oryx is awesome! It is a public event kind of hub. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a rune, you're going to take it, you're going to get your tier one rune, and you're going to power it up by fighting tier one bosses in the Court of Oryx. We saw some cool bosses today, a Romeo and Juliet style fight with three wizards where you had to kill them all really close to each other, kind of at the same time. Uh, a pair of knights where you could only damage them when they were close to each other, otherwise their shields made them invincible, and an ogre uh, that you could kill, uh, only damage or break his shield off by blowing up a thrall next to him. Pretty cool boss designs right there. Um, and so you kill some of these guys, you level up your rune, and then you get to do two tier, you get to do tier two bosses, which are similar bosses from the first round, except you have to fight two of them at the same time, and oh yeah, instead of being level 36, they're now level 41. Uh, there is also a tier three, um, along, uh, this row, and then... Across from that, there are another set of platforms that you can apparently do super unique uh, court events or bosses, uh, but we have no idea what they are. Um, some other really cool things, uh, you can have up to nine participants in these events. Nine participants is awesome. It makes it the largest PvE event that you can engage in in Destiny to date. Uh, raids being six, you know, uh, and everything else being nine. It's great. You, you six for raids, three for everything else, and nine in Court of Oryx. It's it's really really wonderful. It's it's great. <laughs> it's a huge activity. Having nine guardians uh, working together is just going to be super awesome, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, so that is also really great. Um, and then uh, and then uh, man, my brain is so gone right now. And three. Uh, the big number three is they revealed the release date of the raid. That's right. The raid will be coming out September 18th, a mere three days afterwards, despite many people's projected week-long waiting period, which definitely was where Professor Broman was hanging out. That's where I was thinking about. But that's not where it's going to be. 
Uh, so I had all these plans for my 24 hour stream. I'm like, I'm gonna level up every class. We're gonna experience all these different things. But now I'm like, fuck that, let's get raid ready. So um, I'm gonna be pounding it out on Twitch pretty much every moment I am awake until the raid uh, so that we can make a really solid raid attempt with uh, the team. Uh, that we got over there, which will include King Gathalion and, and T-Rex and some other really great streamers over on Twitch. We're still kind of hammering out the deets. Also in the future, we're definitely doing a uh, a Wobblers, which is the Twitch team that I'm a part of, and a Dream Team. We're going to do King's Fall Raid, so with uh, Mr. Fruit, Rabby V, and Blue Westlo. So look forward to that in the future. But yeah, the 18th is when the raid is being released, surprising everyone. Uh, also, there's a huge cinematic that they released exclusive on Twitch today, but you've probably seen it everywhere else because who doesn't want to instantly hit record on their computer as soon as they're told they're not supposed to share something. Uh, so that's that's everywhere as well. Also, part of the exclusive things that was just on the Twitch side, um, as a thank you uh, to the ambassadors from the community who came for Twitch reveals, um, uh, Bungie has given myself, along with Mr. Fruit, Laced Up Lauren, uh, King Gathalion and Triple Wreck. I think that's everyone. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Uh, each of us a Taking King Collector's Edition PS4 signed by all the developers to give away. Now, I'm going to be giving mine over away on Twitch. So if you've never come to visit on Twitch, this is a great motivation for you to do so. There's no other uh, incentivization. You don't have to subscribe to my Twitch channel or, well, I'd like you to follow, but subscribing is different. E either way, um, you don't have to do uh, anything uh, other than show up and follow the channel over there on Twitch to, to participate. There's there's no buy-in, anything like that. The reason I'm not doing it here on YouTube is because this isn't um, this isn't a location where I do a lot of giveaways anyway, um, and I'm much more comfortable doing it on Twitch. Plus, it's live, so it's more fun. Uh, so I will keep you all updated on the date. I have not picked a day. Um, part of me feels like doing it on release day during the 24-hour stream, and the other part of me is feeling like doing it on raid day. Um, but it will be given away and it will of course require nothing from you except your time because that's all I ever ask. Uh, these two guys are standing really still. That's all I ever ask from you guys. I really, really, really appreciate, uh, all of the support you guys have shown me on YouTube over this past year. Um, my birthday, I know I've talked about this before is, is, is coming up in three days uh, on, on Saturday. So it would be another great day. I'd love to see you YouTube folks over there on Twitch. Um, just so I can tell you, thank you. Uh, because as much as it's, yay, it's my birthday, I, I really just like saying thank you to the people who, who have changed my life and um, made my life wonderful. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, there's a little bit about the giveaway. I will keep you updated here. I'm not going to keep you guys in the dark. Um, <laughs> I. It has been an incredible year for Destiny. Uh, September 9th, which is uh, only a week away, only a week away now. Will mark the one year anniversary of destiny um the launch of my youtube channel and and the explosion of my twitch channel and i just want to thank you all who are here now at the, at the first tenth of a mile on this journey uh deeply for being here i appreciate it i, I know that we have hit some huge milestones on youtube as well hundred thousand followers we're up to a hundred of, of the making of this video one hundred and forty one thousand followers which is just uh, beyond my wildest expectations and dreams uh, so thank you all I will try I know I would tell I know I've been telling you guys this for a long time I'm trying to get more consistent on YouTube um, I've got a few people that are gonna be working with me uh, coming up in the future so it's gonna be easier for me to produce YouTube content and twitch content in tandem so there'll be hopefully consistent content here seven days a week maybe two videos a day which would be super fun um, which would be super fun. But anyway, guys, uh, there you go. Those are my top three highlights and the giveaway information for you. I love you. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time in Destiny.